I got a fountain for the birds because Richard talks all the time about how you need to supply water for the birds even in the winter. They need, oh, need to clean their feathers and it actually does help them stay warm to be able to clean those feathers. But So I got uh, a beautiful little fountain bird bath and then my birds weren't coming and then Richard said, be patient, they will come to you. And then after a while I said, they're still not coming and he says, well, maybe you should move it. So we never ended up moving it. And literally for four years, they finally started coming. So now it, it's popular. It's as if one of them used it and the rest of them were like, oh, that's, that's what that's what for. for yeah. But yeah. you say, don't leave it for four years. Do not do like Donna did. Go ahead. If it's not attracting birds after a while, change the placement of it. Yeah, I would probably change it before four years ran out. Right. Yeah, just, right. you know, if, if it, some goes, I tell people at birdhouses, if you go a year, maybe two years, and the birds haven't taken it, just move it to another place, put it on a different tree, put it on the side of the house, do something different, because it's just not a great location. Although it may take four years, and somebody finds this, that one's for me. But the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the bird bath, absolutely, put it where you can get a hose to it without any trouble. I even have... Next to my bird bath, a hose that I keep just for it. It's, I think, maybe 12 foot long. I just, there's no hole that I cut the whole end of it off. So yeah. it's not in a way, it's not a lot of trouble. It's just laying there, and I can get right to the bird bath with it. And you're right. If you don't make it where it's not a lot of trouble, yeah. you, won't you won't do, do it. it. And that's probably why it took us yeah. four years. We left it up yeah. on our deck. Yeah. So I don't think the birds were as comfortable to come to the deck. Yeah. We didn't have cover, like what you're talking about. But now that they've started to come, it's great because we can see them. Yes. And it's just beautiful to see yeah. them out there. But they still don't come while we're outside. Yeah. But we can watch them from our kitchen window, yeah. and it's so cute. So definitely get a yeah. source for them. And does, does the water need to be like we saw in the one photo? It was moving, but your no. bird bath, it's not, right? No, it doesn't It doesn't need to move. I it's care. nice if you've got one of those because the little gurgling sound is an attraction to the mm -hmm. birds. They hear that like a little babbling brook that mm -hmm. will help bring a bird around to check it out. Mm -hmm. And I think they, they like that noise, but it doesn't have to be. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to share it.